The racket centred on building sites throughout Belfast and Lisburn. David Artie Fee, Andrew Aiken and John Campbell, all from the Shankill area of Belfast, as well as Jackie MacDonald of Finnecke, blackmailed and intimidated two building companies between 1983 and 1988. If the firms failed to pay, the workforce was intimidated off sites and machinery damaged. Fee and MacDonald also threatened to kill company directors if they went to the police. The RUC anti-racketeering squad used secret bugs to tape conversations of the UDMN over a three-year period. Tapes and transcripts produced in evidence. At Belfast Crown Court yesterday, all four changed their pleas to guilty on a total of nearly 60 charges. Today, the trial judge, Mr Justice Ian Higgins, sentenced Fee and MacDonald to 10 years imprisonment, Campbell and Aiken to eight. Mr Justice Higgins said that the four had tried to cover their crimes with a veneer of respectability, claiming that the money extorted was for the dependence of Loyalist prisoners. The bulk of the money had gone to the UDA or the Loyalist Prisoners Association, he said. Some was for personal gain, although it was his impression that this was a small proportion. He described the offences as ugly. They had involved persistent extortion and the use of threats and menaces, and as such merited heavy punishment. As they left the dock, two of the accused gave clenched fist salutes. Fee, who was sentenced to 10 years, shouted, out in four. Another UDA man, Jim Craig, whom the court heard had demanded holiday money and a Christmas bonus, was also involved in the racket. He was shot dead at an East Belfast bar in October 1988 by UFF gunmen who accused him of being a traitor.